Hello everybody, welcome, welcome, welcome. As always, it's me, Mythic, and today we are going to learn how to turn a this into this. And as always, if you want to get your hands on the fire merch, go check out mythic.store. And as always, some of you aren't subscribed. Look, you can see it just here, literally just here. So get over, hit the subscribe button, turn on notifications, and we are going to get right into it. <gasps> Go! Hey, welcome back to the channel, everyone. I'm um, glad you're sticking around. And I want to say thank you so much for one thousand yes that's one thousand subscribers on youtube it's a goal i've been trying to reach for ages and with your help we can push that higher so consider hitting that sub button as we've already said anyway let's cut to the chase today we are going to look at how you can turn standard webcam into something that looks like a dslr so what you're seeing me shoot on at the moment is actually just a logitech c920 webcam this is probably the most used webcam amongst streamers gamers anyone that does anything probably has one of these cameras they're reasonably priced um they work well they're plug and play and yeah and the problem is most people just don't know how to set them up quite properly so we are going to have a look at all the settings you need to do and things you need to get to make your webcam look absolutely amazing and literally turning it into low-grade footage like I so I'll put some in the background whilst I'm chatting away but just what sort of you see everyone get on their stream uh to what you see on my stream and other people that I've uh, managed to uh help along the way from my community uh to get their stream looking that little bit more amazing um so without further ado we're going to jump over to uh, obs and we're going to talk about the first set of settings that, that you're going to use okay so jumping right into it it's quite convenient actually because uh you guys can uh see my uh me here still talking which isn't planned at all but hey anyway um really really easy most people don't look at this so literally all you're going to do is you're going to where you're going to drop your webcam into a scene as you normally would do uh, with a source and then when you right click and click to properties you're going to get the settings for your video capture device and as you can see like literally no bs this is an hd pro webcam c920 okay that's what we're going to use okay and we are going to turn this setting on and it is resolution fps type to custom we're then going to change the resolution to 1920 by 1080 we're going to change the fps to highest fps the video format now there's a few options here you can experiment which one works best for you but mjpeg just seems to be the absolute sweet spot so i'd recommend that uh, color space all the way up to 709 with a full color range auto detect buffering and that is as complicated as that gets that's your settings for your webcam okay so what we're going to do now is i'm now going to show you the next part of it and we're going to go and sort that bit out right okay um the next thing you're going to do is you're going to nip over to logitech's website there is going to be a link in the description to this exact page um, and you're going to download logitech capture now there is a real reason for this is for some reason um people have known for a very long time that logitech webcams don't really keep settings that great uh in between you sort of you, you basically opening up obs closing down obs and it just doesn't seem to quite work um, and this is a really good fix for actually getting that sorted. So literally just scroll down, go to the description, click uh, to this website and download uh, the 64-bit uh, or the 32-bit version for your thing. Most people are running 64-bit Windows now. If you don't know whether you are or not, just push the Windows key, type in system information and that will bring up all the information. It'll tell you, it'll say Windows X 64 or 32, whatever it is, if you don't know what version of Windows you're running. Click, download that and then come back and I'll show you what to do. Okay, so once you've got OBS up and running, so you're going to basically, when you're starting your stream or starting to record, whatever it is you're going to do, you're going to open up OBS and what you're going to notice is your webcam is just going to seem a bit uh, unusual. It's not going to look quite as crisp. It's not going to look, look like your details are quite dialed in. So once you've opened up OBS, you're going to open up Logitech Capture. 
okay so we're going to do that now so you can see what this looks like so bear in mind you're not actually going to get my uh, webcam preview uh, because uh, currently you're seeing my webcam within OBS and it just you can't share webcam images don't know why I think you probably should be able to but but you can so it says camera not available and that's because you're watching it like here um, okay so when you set up your HD Pro webcam you want to have a look at what settings uh, you're going to use let me uh, move me out the way for a second and put me over here. Oh, there you go. Okay, so you can see on the left-hand side, we've got HD Pro Webcam, okay? This is under the number one section. Your priority, you want to set to frame rate, okay? Uh, frame rate means you're getting a crisper image uh, and it's really prioritizing having that real crispy sort of interaction, which is what you want. Okay, some of the big things that really screw everything over, you want to turn auto focus off okay it's terrible it ruins everything it's just bad it's horrible it's disgusting it's there okay turn it off auto white balance you also want it turned off if you're using like uh, things like i've got the elgato key light here i've got two i've got one as a fill light put in my face and i've got one lighting across the side here but you need to get the white balance right for your scene so literally just drag around that bar and get it really right okay here, okay, you've got a few things going on. Your brightness, you probably don't want to change too much. You've got contrast here. Uh, you just want to probably tweak your contrast up a little bit just to get those blacks a little bit blacker, get all the shadows a little bit more poppy and give those really smooth edge lines. Um, here, you've got sharpness. You want to bump the sharpness a little bit. That's going to help with those really crisp edges and that really detailed picture. Just bump that up a little bit as well. And this is the saturation. If you're finding your scenes looking a little bit washed out, that might be to do with lighting. It might be to do with the space. You can bump the saturation up a little bit, and that's going to make those colors just that little bit more vibrant, which is what you want. If you want to really engage with your audience, you want a nice, vibrant, exciting picture, and that's going to make a massive difference. Okay. anti flicker if you're in the uk and the eu uh, and all that majazzery you want to be on 50 hertz if you are over in the states you want to be on 60 hertz easy as that that's the settings you've got some more settings over here uh for your actual camera as well you can change the resolution uh you want landscape you want full hd doing bear in mind this is somewhat uh, uh, PC dependent. If you're finding out your PC struggling, you can step this down to 720. And also, if you are on Twitch and you are only opting to stream your your quality, your overall quality, uh, the overall quality of your stream in 720p, it is pointless making your webcam 1080p because duh just doesn't work so just bear that in mind people like do these things all the time like i'm gonna stream in 720 but then i'm gonna set my camera to 1080 it makes no sense so i stream in 1080 so i'm going for full hd 1080p but you can have it 720p and actually if you decide you don't want a low quality image you can put that down here as well fps i whack all the way up to 30 i'm using nvidia graphics card so we're using nvidia nvenc decoding that's it that is your camera set up so once you've done that what you'll notice now is your webcam will sort of ping it'll pop and it'll come to life um, so all you need to do, you can actually close that down now, and basically that, you launch OBS, literally launch Logitech Capture, you'll see all your settings spring to life, and it's as simple as that, and then just close it down, and that will lock in those settings for you each time that you've specified, it's as simple as that. Right, and that is basically that it's really simple it's understanding these settings how to lock them in what you can do you can also go looking for uh LUTs LUTs is like uh, an overlay to give your uh videos like a bit of an effect like you would do on films like a slightly reddish tint or a black and white tint uh, a place I really suggest for that is go check out uh, Gaming Careers YouTube channel massive massive shout out to them massive inspiration for this video and also a massive inspiration for uh, my streaming in general. So go check out their link down in the description to like, uh, below. And uh, yeah, thank you so much for swinging by. As always, don't forget to check out the merch. Uh, bang that sub button. Uh, because if it's been helpful, I do videos like this all the time. And if you sub and turn on the notifications, you're never going to miss them. Um, yeah, and after that, why don't you go and check out uh, this video over here. Which will, you know help you how to do some other cool stuff.
stuff like overlays or you can go and check out this video over here and that could check out yeah, that will help you out how to do notifications and if someone could help me out how to speak properly it'd be amazing apart from that peace